Mac Buckley here with the UCCS Athletic Network. Here we have head coach Lynn Plett of the UCCS women's basketball team after a big win here on the road against New Mexico Highlands University. Final score coach 80 to 70, but it looked like a change of game out there after you put on that full court press. What was the difference really after that, you know, first two quarters jumping into that third quarter? Well, we only played one good quarter tonight, and that was the third quarter where we pushed it up to, I think, uh, I think we were up to an 18-point lead at that point. But uh, we just didn't, didn't come out with a lot of energy. They shot the ball extremely well in the first half in particular, and we didn't respond very well. And our defense was less than satisfying from my standpoint, and uh, it stayed that way the whole first half. Uh, and then uh, they got in, we got into a little bit more energy when we were started playing with our half-court press a little bit and we got some steals and that changed the momentum a little bit and then they kept hanging there though in the fourth quarter they still cut it back down to the 10 and and uh, made a real game of it definitely coach they made a really uh like you said a good game out of that one just back and forth really but you ended up you know continuing to put on the offensive pressure really keeping that fast pace how were you able to continue that fast pace when every time it seemed like new mexico highlands would come down and use that entire shot clock in the, in your defensive zone and that was the difference that's <laughs> what we didn't do a good job as we didn't take the best shots in the world on our on our break and plus we turned it over too much uh we only had one player in the entire team everybody in the team played 10 minutes or more tonight and only one player did not turn it over. So we're pretty team-oriented when it comes to our turnovers, unfortunately. <laughs> At least we were tonight. And that's, that, that's what uh, really hurt us on the offensive end is that we just didn't get as many opportunities as we could have. And then when we did, we kind of rushed it and took the first shot that came along. And, and they did a good job of slowing the tempo down when they walked the ball up the floor. Uh, I think that's what helped us in the, second, in the third quarter is that when we put that kind of that three-quarter press on them, it, it changed a, kind of the, changed a, how should I say, tempo. Yep. Changed the tempo of the game. And coach, just talking about that tempo as well, really New Mexico Highlands, it seemed like they really played with composure and a little bit of poise out there against the defense. How were you able to just change up that intensity on defense? It seemed like, you know, you guys really sparked in the third quarter, but then, you know, a couple lapses with those turnovers. What really, how were you able to, you know, settle the girls down mentally and physically out there on the court? Well, I think the biggest thing is when we came out in the second half, uh, Kelly made some real hustle plays defensively and got some steals and kind of set the tone and then some of the other girls picked up on that and we just our intensity on defense just got a little bit a lot better in the third quarter and uh so well we were running a lot of people in and out so he subbed a lot of people tonight too so it's uh i think that might have had a little bit of uh effect on the lack of intensity at times sometimes too because we were shuffling players in so much Definitely, Coach. And, you know, let's talk about this real quick before I let you go. Utilizing your roster, we talked about you having a deep bench. Look like you were playing a lot of girls tonight. Like we mentioned, you know, 10 of those players playing 10-plus minutes or more. Let's talk about that and how that's going to be advantageous being on the road this weekend, knowing that this game just finished, but, you know, having a good matchup against CSU Pueblo tomorrow night. Well, I'd like to say that's going to help, but the last time I said that was when we played at Shadron. And then we play at Regis, and that's the one game that we've lost in conference so far. So I think the whole thing on this Friday-Saturday thing is, is it's mental more than it is physical. And if the, if the players can cannot think about that and know that everybody else is in the same boat, I, I don't really think that's that, that big, a, big a deal. Talking to even some of the, the players, and some of the players who, um, like here, talking to one of their assistant coaches played here, was, a, was an all-conference player in the RMAC player for here at Highlands. And, and talked to her about that too and she said she kind of liked it she kind of liked the friday saturday thing so it's it's if it if you allow it to be affect you in your head it can be effective in your head as far as the negative goes if you don't then it, it's not going to matter plus nobody has an advantage everybody's doing it so hopefully that's not going to make have an effect on us very true a little bit different in the rmac having those friday night saturday night games but csu pueblo right now facing off against msu denver so um you know like you said coach both teams friday night and saturday night back to back but that was coach lynn plett of the uccs women's basketball team after they just got a win on the road against the new mexico highlands university cowgirls mac buckley with the uccs athletic network coach thank you for your time tonight and good luck tomorrow thanks mac